Good morning, everyone. This is Tanya Psychic Crafts. Welcome, welcome back to the channel. I am so glad you're here today. I have been making this tag, and I started making this yesterday, but um, still have technical difficulties again, and found out none of it recorded. <laughs> you guys, we're going to figure this out. We really will. Um, it's been a little frustrating for me, but you know what? We'll, I'll get through it. It's okay. So I needed to finish this today because I want to get it out in the mail. And so I've got a couple more things I'd like to do. I was able to, I wasn't happy with it yesterday. And um, I wanted to kind of step back from it and see if I could figure out why and what I needed to add to it. Sometimes we need to step back from our art and, and just to think and regroup and come back with a fresh eye and see what we can do. So I want to put a fourth on there and I try, actually I'm going to do it this way. Oh shoot. Um, I try not to break up my numbers, but sometimes you kind of have to. So I'm going to go ahead, I don't want to run all these through though. I'm just going to break up, break up my numbers. Might as well, might as well. Okay, so I want to put a fourth on it. I've got these fours. This, that uh, die set was from Timu. And I think this one probably is too. Um, shoot, I don't want I really don't want to break these apart. These are really small. Is there an H in here too? Of course there's an H in here. There we go. Shucks. I'm gonna have to. Uh, well, broke it more than I wanted to. It's easier to keep them together if I don't break them up. I have plenty of this paper. I'm not worried about that, but I just don't want to, um, I don't want to lose them. That's the biggest thing. Oops, that four is just slip sliding away. All right, so I've got just a couple of things to do to this one, and then I think it'll be ready. Uh, this is for a swap I'm doing in our paper art group, swap group. And we're doing this Julie Nutting uh, patriotic theme. And I know it's late in the month, but that's when it was due. So that's what we're doing. I gotta finish it up. I'll salvage the rest of those letters later. Okay. This we don't need right now. Put it aside. Let me put this up before I lose it because, you know, when they're broken apart, they're easier to lose. So yeah, I got all these numbers from from Timu. I've got some more coming, some more numbers. I wanted to get some really fun fonts for before Christmas. So I'm going to do some advent calendars, but I wanted the font, the number fonts to be different on the dies so that, um, you know, each, each advent calendar would look different. I'm hoping to make them this year anyway. I don't remember if I made any last year. I know I have in the past, but I don't remember if I did any last year. I love making them. They're so much fun. Okay, so I've got the fourth here. And what I was thinking I'd like to do, I want to take a pen and just trace around here as if it was stitching before I do that. So I'm just going to do some wonky lines with my pen. Purposely, they don't need to be perfect. In fact, I don't want them to be perfect. So I'll just kind of do that. And just using one of my finest pens, fine meaning, fine meaning, uh, thin, not excellent. <laughs> We're going to go all the way around this one, too. And I'll just go there. You can do a little stitchy. Oh, my goodness. I always know when I need to do another collage because my scraps start piling up here on my desk. Do you guys get sick of collage videos? I feel like I do a lot of them. 
because I need them. I need um, I need, I need what's uh, I need the stuff I can make with them. Just do a little couple st stitches up and down there. All right, that's that. Should I do down here? Let's do it down here at the bottom as if it was stitched too. Why not? And I didn't do down here. That's cute. I think that helps a lot, actually. Now I want to add... Go ahead and glue this down. I know I, I know the placement needs to be right there. I haven't used any glue yet this morning. Just making up here today. Fed the animals. All their bellies are full. And um just gonna get try to get some stuff done this morning before work. Nothing exciting. You guys, have you heard on the news, I don't want to talk too much about it, have you guys knew, heard on the news about the gal in Hoover, Alabama that was um, allegedly kidnapped, etc., etc., etc.? That has been on my mind a lot. So that happened right at the exit near my work. And, uh, you know, I just, it's got everybody on edge. We had a flyer on our window and everything, and... It's just got everybody on edge around here, and now the circumstances look like she may have faked it, and it's just, it's just heartbreaking. The whole thing is just really, she's, she's home. Let me say that. If you haven't heard the story, she's home, but just a lot of the, um, a lot of the evidence that they have, that they have, it looks like she faked it and I don't want to get into details or anything like that I'm not trying to report the news but it's just you know it's got everybody thinking about lots of things um, you know we were all worried about about her first of all but then about the community and it's just ugh. now if it's been faked that's a lot of wasted resources and it's just you know it's just it's sad and I feel for everybody involved that was hurt by it and you know it's it's not an innocent thing it's just really frustrating anyways it's been on my mind a lot I was worried about the safety of my daughter she's around the same age so I'm just adding some sparkle to her dress these little white stripes I thought that might be a cute little touch I know you guys probably can't see it <clears throat> but I've got some sparkle, the same sparkle on her boots and her headband. I thought this would be a cute touch there. You know, if I had a little gem, I could put it right there like a necklace. Would be super cute. I wonder if I have anything like that nearby. I don't know that I do. I don't know that I do. I have pink, of course. Anything in here, like a silver, tiny little... Oh, oh, I do have something that made me think of something. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. And it's right here in my teeny bag. Because I haven't put it away yet, because it doesn't have a home yet. And I found it. This one I might look for for a minute, you guys. But, but all these um, die cuts I want to play with. Ah, come on. More than a minute. No, no more than a minute. Where did I drop it? It's in one of three bags, but that one is all bags. That's not it. Oh, here it is. That's not it. Well, darn it. Hang on, but I think I'm on to something. Because yeah, 
this is where my beads are. I found the beads. I found the bead caps. I found my washcloths that need to be put away. <laughs> they don't need to be in here anymore. I found my fall thing, my treasure chest. Oh my gosh, I found all the things except they should be in here. They're little, um, there's some fall leaves. Here they are. Look at this. Look at these. These would be perfect. Yep, 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 yep. That's a good one. I'm just going to have a little necklace. How cute is that? All right, now we got to decide what size necklace because there's all these different sizes. Okay, it says open it upwards. Which way is that? So, I think that's this way. <gasps> no, it's not. It's this way where the sticker is. That's what I did. I had um, I had another um, set of jump rings, and I had to put a sticker on the top because I wanted to make sure I opened it from the right side, and they did the right thing for me. They put, that's the perfect size right there. And I just mixed them up a little bit. That's all right. Okay. Now, what I'd like to do... That's cute. I could put little earrings on her, too. That would be cute. Let's do that, too. And they're picking up the color from the paper, the red. Sweet is that. Okay. Um, these are so tiny. I'm gonna put, oh. I have had an alarm still set. Her ears are not by her eyes. Let's put them a little lower. And we'll put a little necklace right there. And let's see if I can... Let's see if I can grab some of these. As I say that's the right size, I don't know which one of those these came out of. And that's upside down. Too big? Yeah, too big. Sorry. Sorry, too big. Okay, hang on. Put that back. You can tell it's summer in Alabama when your arm sticks to everything. I think this is the right size right here. I think that's the same size that I have out. Yes. I believe so. Oh, that's cute. Oops. Get that back up there. I think those are the same size. And we'll give her a little bigger one for her neck. How about that? And then I will take, I'm gonna close this up. I am accident prone. In and just draw a little string around her neck. And scooch that bright back on there. Did I just mess it up? No, I think I'm good. Okay. That's so cute. What do you guys think? She's got little gemstones and I'd love to do something more with this, but I'm not sure what. I wonder if, no, can't do that. That's white. Okay, so I think that we're done with this one. I think so. What do you guys think? I did do, I just put gray on the back so she could do something with it if she wants to. And I think I'm going to add some of these. Oh, my goodness. I just, uh, my glue gun was on all night, apparently, because it's hot. I'm going to add these little roll flowers that, to her, send those to her. So that's that part. 
and I was thinking about sending a couple little um, uh, I can't think you guys die cuts for her so I have this I just got this set this is from Catherine Pooler Designs and it's got the bottles, the soda bottles and labels and things, decorations. And then it's got these fun little, the fun stamps. And I thought it might be cute to maybe cut some of these out for her. What do you guys think? I think I'm going to run some cardstock. I've got some white cardstock, cardstock strips in the box because it's a summer theme right it's fourth of july it's summer it's patriotic it's it's hot it's very hot and i think it would be cute we could send some cherries make some like red cherry soda let's play let's just play let me get my sidekick out we'll just do a couple couple of them. These, are, of course, aren't required. Just the tag is required, so this would be an extra. But I always like to send extra. Who doesn't enjoy extra? Okay, so I'm going to have to break these apart. Probably do a couple straws, too. I only actually need one bottle since I'm only using one my small thing because they won't all fit. Actually, I could do two at a time. Let's do two. That would be nice. And I think I want this one, the bottle cap. We'll put the rest in here. Keep them safe. Yeah, so anyway, that's that's been on my mind a lot. I think it's been on everybody's mind a lot. Just kind of trying to figure out what is happening. I know there was a news conference yesterday about the whole situation. Glad she's safe. I'm glad they've they've got her home. I hope they can help her figure out what's you know whatever's going on. I hope they can help her with that. So, all right. Enough said. I try not to talk a lot about stuff like that in um, in my channel, but news and just you know been on my mind and I'm sure it's on other people's minds too so let's see how many straws should I do should I do one for each I mean I can grab more paper actually that might be long enough barely barely how many was that four All the way up here to catch correctly. I've been getting, uh, I've been crafting a lot, so I've gotten a lot done lately, and I'm super excited because my craft room is coming together more and more. I've got a lot of things put away, a lot of my projects done. I'm feeling very accomplished. Guys, I have a long ways to go. I'm always going to have a long ways to go because I'm just a messy crafter. That's who I am. And I can embrace that. <laughs> I'll be the first one to tell you. My craft room is a disaster. But I do know where things are. Um, I do have a rule. If I can't find it within a minute, it's not going to happen. It's not meant to be. Just, you know, how it is. 
sometimes I go through and clean things out and toss them. Sometimes you have to, because sometimes when you sit, it's kind of like your closet. You know, if you don't wear something for six months, you're supposed to get rid of it. Well, in your craft room, you kind of need to think the same way. If you haven't used it in five years, you should probably get rid of it. Five years, that's the, that's the cutoff date, okay? <laughs> and I am kidding. I am kidding. I have accumulated so much in the past year. I've only been doing this for about a year. Doing videos anyway. I've been crafting all my life, but oh shoot, I was going to do soda labels. Do I really need the soda labels? Um, I do because there's a stamp that says feeling fizzy and I love that. And I think she would too. Oh, so yeah, I've accumulated quite a bit, but I love working through it. And it inspires me when I see these things. As you probably know. And I'm sure most of you can relate if you're crafters. Or hobbyists at all. You know, the things of your hobby make you excited and get you, get you motivated. I'm super excited because Josie changed the strings on their guitar the other day and gave me the cutoff ends. You guys, what can I do with these? I have ideas. I have some ideas. Aren't they cool though? You know I can use some of this in my crafting. I'm just not sure exactly yet what I'm going to do with it. But I'll be sure to show you when I do. When I think of it. Because those are fun. Those are fun. It was kind of cool that he thought to give them to me, too, because they would have gone in the trash. So I was super excited about that. I'm thinking if I use, okay, I've got four, four bottles here. I can use, like, orange, purple, what other color? Red, orange, purple, red different flavors of soda. What other color? Well, I need to do blue. We're doing Independence Day, right? So, 4th of July. I need to do blue. Maybe that's blueberry or something. Maybe a pink. That'd be fun. Strawberry. All right, so that's that. We're done. We're done with that. Put that up. And put these aside in the contain in the plastic. And then we're gonna get this out. Oh, let me put the soda bottles in there too. Too many dyes floating around on my desk right now, as well as rubber stamps. And I don't want to get them all mixed up. Okay, let me grab some colors here that are right over here on my holder. We're gonna do pink raspberry, of course. Where's that picked picked raspberry? Picked raspberry. And how about Kish Flamingo? We can use. Scattered straw, maybe. I don't have a lemon. Lumberjack platinum. That's not quite bright, right enough. We could use this red, whatever it is. My off brand different red. What was the other color? Purple. Here's a purple. Oh, here's a yellow. Well, I just might have to reach out inside a ranger here. Some different colors. These are my little birdies. Oh, here's a blue. That's fun. Okay, hang on. I'm coming. I've got some really pretty colors here. All right, I got a blue, purple, red, yellow. There's my four. I only cut out four. There's my four. I love those. Okay, 
Now, what I'm going to do is get out. Now, a lot of these are like Father's Day. Happy birthday, old timer. Feeling fizzy is the one I want. There's here's to you. You're a classic. Dad's cola. Our love will never fizzle. That's not a dad thing. And then pops here the tops. I think it's darling, you guys. So I want to use fill and fizzy. We're going to do two fill and fizzies. We're going to do two here's to use. And then we're going to use a soda bottle, obviously. Probably. Which one do I want the most? Which one did I cut? Actually, it looks like they're different shapes, aren't they? So I cut that one. So this is the one we'll use. That was easy. We need the soda part and we need the bottle part. I guess I could have left them on there until I needed them. But that's all right. Now we've got them picked out. Let me get my stamping platform, not platform, my stamp block is what I want. so prepared. Okay, let's use that. Where should we start? Let's start with, I feel like I should start with a little piece of tape under here. Just a little piece of tape to help hold it. Maybe, an, maybe one I wouldn't use normally. I was going to say ugly, but that's not fair. Um, <laughs> I won't use this one much. I've never used it, so that that tells me something. It's not my fave. Although, as I'm looking at it, it would be really pretty with these butterfly cards, wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, anyway. It's just about what you use it for. Okay. Let's just, can you guys see that? Yeah, okay. Let's start with Cherry. start there. Now I have not used these stamps before. I just got them and I'm thinking maybe I should use my stamping platform simply because it's kind of bubbling up and I might have to stamp more than once. So I think I'm going to, after all that die cutting, I don't want to have to keep doing it. So Here's what I'm going to do. Here's what I'm going to do. See that. Washcloth. Yeah, I know. That wasted it, but... Just wipe that off. Put this back up on here instead. This will be... This will be I was going to try not to have to get this out, but um, I don't know how it's going to stamp, so this is a better bet. This is a safer option. See how it's just kind of, because I've never used it, so... You know, all that newness may not stamp just right so we'll just kind of squoosh it in there let it sit for a second and it's perfect love that here's to you I could do about a billion more of those how cute is that here's to you this would probably been easier to stamp these and then die cut them but no it the hard way but that's okay all right next let's get another one out I have to place it again pick it up Put this lid back on here let's get 
let's do, should we do purple next? Actually, I'm going to go yellow. I'm going to go yellow next. I think I got the ink off of there where it counts, but. Oh, I did leave a little red on there. It did put some red on there. That's okay, though. I like, I actually like the way it looks. So we'll go ahead and set that aside. There's two here just to use. Now let's do the other pop top. It's got a little something on there. Okay. And this one says, feeling fizzy. You can do blue on this one. These are really cute. I really am excited about these. I'm glad I got them. Oh, that didn't stick very well, did it? Let's try that again. Stuck to the stamp, not the paper, not the tape. It did it again. <laughs> All right, stronger tape, maybe. Let's try this tape. I guess it worked for two of them. That's half the job. But I've got quite a few to go. Let me rub this a second. Let's see if I can get some of that sticky off. Be here all day at that pace, huh? There. That's better. this color. I hope it stamps out just as nice. Cute. Oh, I'm so happy with these. Those are really cute. I can, but I'm using purple next, so I'm not worried about it. Next little pop top right there. What color should I do the straws? Should I do them the same colors as the sodas? Like they should have the same coordinating color for the straw? What do you guys think? Maybe. Ooh, this is thick. That's going to be fun. Feeling fizzy. Super cute. Another great job. It's so wet. Okay. Now. I'm going to clean those later. I won't need those for a bit. But I do want to clean them before I put them away. Because they are sticker mesh. Alright. So here's what we're going to do on this one. I'm going to do the bottles. Actually, I need to do... I need to do the soda before I do the outline. Because I think the outline is going to need to be pressed on top of it. So... 
I don't know if they'll really, if one will really affect the other, but I think it might. So let's do it this direction. Since we already have purple out, we'll do the soda. It's really gooey there. Let's just kind of see how that goes. got a lot of white in there and you know what I think I'm okay with that because it kind of looks even more fizzy doesn't it it's kind of a texture I don't think the stamp is textured I think it just worked out that way and it's got a little purple on there I'm gonna leave it because because the next color is blue and I think it'd be kind of cool with a little bit of purple in there even though Let's see, let's see, where's my, let's put this stamp on here and layer this, since that one's already in place. If you guys are interested in these stamps, I'll put the link to the website um, in my description box. They're from shopcatherinepooler.com. Look at that. That's cute. I really like it. I really do. Okay. And that way you can get your own set if you like. I, don't, I wish I had gotten them before uh, Father's Day. Because I'd have made my dad a really cute card. Alright, next is we're going to go back to this one. I think I'm changing my mind a little bit about that color. I do want to kind of get that off of there. Because it won't match the it won't match the cap if I if I if I have mixed colors, you know? So let's see if we can get that wipe that off a little bit. bottle that's the other one look it's got the different shape to it I forgot I did two bottles okay so that is that one that one it's that one and I'll have to use this stamp this one many of you had already just realized that before me? <laughs> it's okay if you did. I heard you. All right, I was going to do blue next. I guess it doesn't matter now. Um, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter anyway. There's blue.
glad I decided to get the platform out because this is working way better. Okay, we've got the, both of those there and we're going to need this lit, this one. Next up, we'll do yellow. That's going to be the curvy bottle. It's going to be that one. I don't think I'm going to do the straws today. I think we're just going to stick with these. curvy one, so we need that curvy stamp that I put, where did it go? I had them right here. Really? 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 Tell me I didn't misplace that already. Alright, well we're coming back to it, I guess. <laughs> what in the world? Where did I put it? We'll come back to it. Okay, and last but not least, we've got the straight bottle. This one's going to be red. What's this one? I've got that thing stuck somewhere. I think it probably stuck to the bottom of something. They're so sticky. Okay. Red is the last. One. Now I'm looking on the floor. I'm looking everywhere for it. Okay. I'll find it. I'm not worried. Okay, there we go. And a squoosh. Cute. Yeah, definitely next time I'll stamp um, stamp them and then cut them out because I think that would be easier. I could do several at a time too, you know, especially if I do like five red ones or whatever, that'd be easy, easy to do, but I only needed a few, so this worked out okay, that's really cute, okay, so that's that, I do have to stamp that one when I find the stamp, but that is it that's so cute I love these I love these you guys I will definitely put the um, the link in the description box I'll try to find the actual product but I'll, I'll set you up with the web website at least so look at those aren't they darling I think they go so well with the theme so I'll probably make up some kind of little packaging to put these in and and send them along so thanks for hanging out with me today thanks for spending time and as always you guys mean the world to me so thank you thank you thank you if you feel like uh, you've learned something or got something out of this video if you just want to come back and hang out any old time make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thank you so much for being here love you all we'll see you in the next one bye bye